hello and welcome back i am getting ready to head out going to um it's like a growers outlet sto store here and i've been wanting to go there for a while i think they sell like pottery um and plants and all of that i think i've never been there but what kind of, that's kind of what it looks like from um what i've seen online and I really need some more potting soil because I need to up plant some or up pot some of my um, plant starts. And so I called her, they have some. And so we're just gonna go check it out. I'm excited because again, what I've seen from what I've seen online, it looks like they have a lot of plants. So I'm hoping that's the case when I get there. Uh, I do need a couple for our landscaping. I'm gonna keep an eye out for that. And then just whatever else catches my eye. Um, but. I just thought I would take you along and I know I enjoy watching other people walk through nurseries or garden centers it's always like I'm like living through through them because I enjoy that I could spend hours there but anyway so let's head there and let's see what they have this was the outdoor section where they had just a bunch of pottery displayed that was discounted and a lot of it was similar I'm guessing they got like bulk shipments All I ended up getting from there was four bags of potting soil. Um, I didn't get more because it wasn't organic and I, for my uh, like veg veggies and things, I want to make sure um, it's a good quality potting soil. So I got that one. I figured for flowers or whatever else I need it for. I got a couple saucers to go under pots and that was basically it. Um, I was expecting there to be a lot more plants to be honest. There wasn't too much and I don't know if it's just because it's the beginning of the season or or what. I didn't really ask the guy but um, anyway. So I stopped by a couple thrift stores on the way home and then stopped by a different garden and nursery center and got um, two bags of organic potting mix. And so hopefully that'll work for my uh, plant starts so I can pot them up. But right now it's actually really nice out so I'm going to uh, take the, the little chicks outside and get the big chicks out and then I need to pot some beets today. Um, not pot, I'm sorry, plant some beets today. I have the seeds soaking overnight. Beets, carrots, radish. I planted some before but we had the really big frosts and so um, I don't think any of them came up. So I want to try to replant those today. I made plant tags for all of these beets. I've had them soaking in water overnight. Um, I didn't pour out the water. I guess I'll just grab the seeds out of there and plant them. Um, just easier that way instead of trying to drain the water. And I'm going to head out in the garden and hopefully find a good spot for all of these. I also have a basket here full of um, like dill and radish and carrots and things like that. I have my plant tags, a marker. And so the weather is beautiful, so I think it's perfect time to go out and get some things planted. This is our strawberry bed. The flowers are starting to bloom. It looks like there's some strawberries coming in, uh, but it is falling apart. So hopefully Eddie will get that fixed here soon. Um, have some uh, mandarin, not lemon balm, man mandarin balm, I think, sage, garlic. Most of this bed, in the middle I have some... Um, what is that chamomile and this is the chamomile and that's sorrel it's going to seed so I think I'm going to wait and maybe collect the seeds or I'll just trim it down we here have some more chamomile some mint lavender parsley sage mix of everything some thyme over here in the corner Sorry, it's really sunny right now, so it's really big shadows, but I'm not sure if this is borage or if this is just a weed. <laughs> I'll have to check my plant app. Um, and some more mandarin balm, random radish that never got pulled out, and some random garlic that I threw in because I thought it was bad. Like, I threw it in for compost, and it's growing, so I've left it in there. I have over here some strawberries in these two pots. Um, that I'll need to plant out somewhere too. These were the runners that I cut off and put them in here. Some flowers I need to plant out. Onions are doing great. I have some, um, these were tulips that I will just leave, um, let them dry out, like the tops 
dry out and then I'll collect the bulb bulbs <laughs> these are the two cabbages that seem to be doing pretty good that last one not so great I've just been picking off of it for the chickens I have an empty spot here over here I have two rows of garlic I have this cage here because either the deer or squirrels keep going in here that I'm not sure what I planted I'll have to check it's either lettuce or um, I think it is lettuce because over here I have some kale it looks like little kale coming in and I might have some kale or radish over here as well I don't remember what I planted and then also two rows of garlic empty have some onions over here as well that I planted in the fall an empty spot these beautiful tulips and these mini daffodils they're gorgeous some of the tulips have already bloomed and gone but some are just coming in I have flowers coming up some are blooming they're so pretty My roses are budding up. They should be blooming soon, so I can't wait. I have a random rose over here in a pot that I need to get planted out somewhere. Some more on this side. I believe this is called, uh, I don't think it's Prince, um, just William, I don't remember the name. I'll put it on the bottom of the screen. pretty these are just starting to come up I have some weeds in here too I had tulips in these two planter boxes that have already bloomed so once those dry out to the foliage the leaves and stuff when they dry out I will pull the bulbs and plant some pretty flowers in these um, I have one on the other side over there as well moving down here We've brought some dirt in um, or compost. We're going to probably bring a couple more loads to try to raise up the ground a little bit because when it does rain, it um, can be pretty wet back here. So we've just been bringing in a couple loads here and there. Um, and I just need to make some rows and get some potatoes and things planted out because um, I already have those seed potatoes and they've just been laying around. They've already sprouted and I need to get them in the ground as soon as possible. This is the pathway. I tried planting some flowers on the side. It looks like there's one missing here. I'll have to move um, one so it's kind of even. And that random planter I have to move. So I had pretty um, garden beds in front of the chicken coop, but sometimes when the chickens get out, they like to dig in here. So they have kind of made a huge mess over here. But I have a climbing rose over here in the corner. Hi, Chicky. Hello. And same thing over here on the other side. And this is where I wanted to plant the uh, black-eyed Susan vine, I believe it's called, um, on both sides on the trellis to, um, to kind of give some shade in the summer and they have really pretty um, flowers. Hi, girls. You want to say hi? Hi Ruby, hi. And then there's, oh, there she is. Hi, hi girls. Hello. Are you enjoying this beautiful weather? Me too. I cleared out this spot in between where the garlic is growing. I have had this kind of empty spot. So I took out some of the leaves cause there was quite um, a bit of like a thick layer. The rest have kind of worked into the soil a little bit. There's still quite a bit, but I feel like that'll give it some protection and keep some of the moisture in. The drip isn't on yet because, you know, it's been wet and rainy and it hasn't been too hot. So I'm going to plant some of the beets here and hope that they do well. Because I think, from what I remember, I could be wrong. I'll have to check the seed packet, but I think they prefer... Um, Kind of the cooler temperatures so it doesn't this area right here right now it's getting sun but it's the uh, bed it's kind of like right behind the shed it gets the least amount of sun throughout the day so i think 
or I hope it'll do pretty good here. I just ended up using this stick that was laying around to try to make even rows to plant the seeds into. I didn't do it too deep because the carrot seeds usually surface so and uh, the beet seeds don't need to go far in either. And I had a lot of the leaves that I feel like would cover the seeds. Um, so I just kind of made shallow little rows. I had my name tags ready so I put those in before I started planting the seeds so that I wouldn't forget what I put where. And one of the things uh, that I did was I left the water in there and it was a little hard to get the seeds. They kept sticking to my finger and so I feel like I didn't plant them. Um, it didn't turn out very neat like it was hard to separate the seeds. But I wasn't too worried about it because I did have plenty of seeds. I, um, I can always go through and thin them out once they started to sprout. And I just continued the same thing on um, for all of the beets and the carrots. Moving on to the different garden bed. This is where I had those tulips planted. I ended up just pulling all of those out. I added some more fertilizer into the soil. And this is where I put, I had some beets that I didn't fit in the other bed and some more carrots. This garden bed gets some more shade than some of the rest, just the way the sun comes up. So I figured this would be a good spot for them. Um, they wouldn't get too much sun, hopefully. So we'll see how they do there. And then I'm walking you back to the first garden bed where I planted the carrots. And maybe you have already tried this, but what I did is I put some wood on top of where the carrots are planted. That just helps keep the moisture in and helps them sprout faster. And once they sprout, I will take those pieces of wood off. And then moving on to the third garden bed, this is where I planted most of the radish. And then the very last one is a carrot variety that I couldn't fit in the other bed. And so hopefully these tulips will give them a little bit of shade so they don't get too much sun. Then Eddie came home from work and helped me till the garden while I was cleaning up the garden beds or the flower beds in front of the chicken coop. Um, I just... It looks so much better once it's tilled. It looks like fresh soil. But I was just going through and edging a little bit because the weeds were starting to creep into the flower beds and just trying to make it look a little prettier from when the chickens had gone in there and dug everything up. I was continuing on with the edging and wanted to clean up uh, some of these. I have these two bushes next to the door. I forgot what they're called. Uh, and I just haven't loved them there and... I figured I was just going to take them out since they've been there for quite a while and every time I look at them I just feel like they don't they don't work there and so I decided to dig them out and I'll just plant them in a different spot but I'm so glad I took them out once I took them out it just felt like such a big difference and I I don't know why I struggle with that I'm like if something if I don't like something I could just change it but I always feel bad because I'm like well it's probably already rooted in there but it was perfectly fine. I planted them in a different spot and I'll just have to find something else to go here. I have some kind of chamomile that's growing here, but it has just gotten so wild. So I trimmed that back and hopefully it'll grow back a little bit, um, not so leggy and a little bit more bushy, <laughs> but it, it was just, it was just looking really um, untamed. And so I wanted to clean things up a little bit. I think that looks so much better. It does look a little bit bare, but I will be adding some more things in there. But it just looks clean and I have a fresh slate to start with. By that time, Eddie had finished tilling and so we started making the rows. We were trying to decide how many we can fit in here and what we wanted them to look like. So I'm so glad he was here to help me because it's 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 hard our I feel like our whole backyard nothing is even we don't have sh really good straight lines anywhere and so we were just trying to figure it out and make it as straight as possible um, and we do have some uh, or quite a few rocks here and the first time we told the garden we took a few out and this time too we took some out but we were just trying to get the hang of it and figure out where we wanted our rows to go then we went and got the tape measure to really try to measure things out and make them even. <laughs> and we were just calculating how wide and how many rows we can fit. We decided on five rows and hopefully that'll work great for, um, I'm planning on putting potatoes, tomatoes, maybe bell peppers, and maybe some onions or whatever else we can fit in here. But um, that kind of helped us mark off where the rows were going to start and end. 
It looks so much better now that it's done compared to the left side. We'll get to that a different day. But I love these spring evenings where it's still not too hot, where it's nice and cool. It feels good to work in the garden. We turn the lights on and I'm just really excited to get back into gardening this season. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on this day and I will see you all next time.